Kerwin. Hi, bud. Okay, uh, congratulations on a on a what seemed to be a routine win. Um, do you actually feel, you must feel in a really good place at the minute? Well, I definitely felt good up there today, and you know, I felt my scoring game was okay, but you know, my checking out was probably on point today. I, I think I only missed one one double at double twelve. So yeah, I knew I was playing pretty well, and I was putting Kim under pressure. But saying I, he didn't play his best game, but I can only control what I do. Your belief must be through the roof right now. Do you feel unbeatable? No, definitely not. I know I need to turn up and play. You're never unbeatable. And if you if you don't play your A game, if you if you don't play at your best, then then you're gonna fall. So no, I just need to turn up every time. And lately, I, I am. Okay, and. Is it also important to you, uh, this might be a silly question, is it important to you to keep winning because it keeps that momentum going and it, it keeps people fearing you maybe? Yeah, well, even last week I was out first round, which wasn't good and knocked my confidence yeah. a little bit. But yeah, I am. Um, you obviously what, need to keep confidence? winning and I'm doing all right. So I play well today. I, like I said, my checking out was pretty good and I backed up with a bit of scoring. So I need to improve a little bit, but it was good today. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time. No worries. Desi, playing back on that stage, how did it feel after a disappointing result last week? Is that just what the doctor orders? Yeah, definitely. I, it felt different up there. It felt quite small, but it was good. I felt it's different with the, with the crowd, the way they were as well. You can you can do a little bit here and there, but I seem to play all right, so I can't argue. When we spoke to Michael last week, he said you two practiced together on the Saturday, had a really good practice session, and you both yeah, un did, did, unbelievable. Didn't play the best. We, we, everyone was saying, what, what, what happened in that practice session? <laughs> oh, honest, uh, we were playing scoring games, and we were both just not missing. And then, <laughs> well, I bombed, I was bombed out first round. He got to the final, but he didn't really play particularly well. But, yeah, but in practice, it's, it's easy, isn't it? but it's just when you get on that stage. A potential second-round game against the world champion, Peter Wright. That seems quite strange that you two would meet so early in a tournament. Yeah, but obviously it's different circumstances now and it's only been four Europeans. Peter's missed two, so you know, it is what it is. If he comes through this game, then I'm ready for him. I'm, I'm more than prepared, so I'm, I'm not worried about his game. just going to concentrate on my own. Looking the way your game is at the moment, I forget the year I saw last week. If you could win this, that sends out a massive statement to the rest of the field that World Series final, Grand Prix and here, that you really are the man to beat when it comes to big stage starts. Um, maybe, yeah, but it'll take a little bit of pressure off me going into the Grand Slam. I know that if I do win this, which I said that about the Grand Prix, but it seems to be every tournament I'm going into, I just need to try and do well and take that pressure off because I've been doing well the last 80 months and I'm always defending quite a bit of money. Gezi, pleasure as always, champ. Thank you very much. No worries. Gezi, um, it was a little bit of a surprise to me that this tournament, obviously Marco Van Gogh and went in as the, the betting favourite once again. Is that something that, that you look at and something you may be surprised by? No, obviously everyone knows what Michael can do when, when he's on his game and I think the bookies are probably more scared of him than we are at the moment. Um, we spoke to Johnny Clayton sort of around an hour ago and he said he was really looking forward to pairing up with you at the World Cup of Darts. Obviously two players in, in great form. Do you think this is a possibility that this year could be the year for Wales to win the World Cup? Yeah, not just this year. Even last year when me and Johnny played, we was in good form then, but just slipped up, bombed out in the first round and against a good team. But... We just, I think it's just getting through that first round for me and Johnny and, and we'll do all right and I think we'll have a good run. All right, brilliant. Cheers, Gary. No worries.